So we are just getting to the point now where we wanted to give you an update on what's going on with our BPM25 engine. Um, the process on that BPM25 engine has gone well for a long stretch. We have uh, manufactured the parts we need to do that engine and we were then uh, running a number of welding tests. And we needed to do welding tests more than usual actually because many of the elements here on the BPM25 engine are using a little bit stronger steel than we normally use and we're also the whole um, the whole strain on that engine is higher because even for example our wall thickness on this these parts here for the BPM25 the wall thickness is the same dimension as the BPM5 but the loading on the parts are significantly higher and we uh, that means that we have to have way more quality and uh, and we have to make sure that when we weld the BPM25 engine together we need something which is pretty close to perfect weldings all over because otherwise it won't work will break up or a brand new and fantastic engine so for much of the welding testing we already done all of it worked out exactly as we wanted to we have all parameters nailed down and we can repeatedly do these high quality uh, automated weldings we need to do on this engine but there were two welds that didn't go and that's one of the reasons why it's taking so much time um there was an extensive campaign with trying to vary these different welding parameters to figure out if there was a possibility that we could find just that sweet spot where the weldings could be done as uh, and in the quality we wanted them to. Unfortunately, we had to simply uh, we had to to give up on that one and surrender, and then simply change part of the design. Because um, if we change those two pieces that we couldn't weld properly, we put some extra material thickness someplace else. And in that case, we're able to weld these two materials together and get the quality we need. That mismatch was part of a of, of the prior design and we, we simply couldn't solve it until unless we take some new parts in. So... Right now we are uh, in the process of manufacturing those two replacement parts where we move one of these critical welds on either part to a different position where we have already experienced with the other types of the same kind of weld. So we are pretty confident this time it means that we can get all the welds right. And because we only have one set of these uh, BPM25 parts, we have to get it right for the first time. Uh, otherwise it's, uh, it's, a, it's a great, it's something that's not easily replaceable. Another thing that's not easily replaceable is the experience of visiting your rocket factory. And you don't even need to be everyday astronaut to come visit us. Love you, Tim. We run public tours every weekend, so if you want to see our rockets taking shape in person, touch some flown hardware, or try our space capsule on for a size, check our website for tour availability and book a visit. We really hope to see more of you here. So while we are warming up to do those last uh, critical parts and tests on the weldings, we're also doing a little bit of trimming, final trimming on those parts uh, for the BPM25 engine uh, so that we're certain that the last small differences in tolerances that we get it to match perfectly. For example, this this ring here, when that needs to go on the uh, be welded to this part or another part, that it fits perfectly snugly together before we put it under the automated welder. So... This whole um, this whole process took way longer than we anticipated, but it also goes to show that we're we're upping these things a little bit because the BPM five was such a conservative design and so small that we could arguably almost couple it together and just go out and light it, and it would work anyway. We're getting a little bit more into a a more tight uh, regime here, where we have to do our part pretty close to perfect to be able to to make sure that this engine works as intended. So we're getting there, uh, but it did take a little longer than we anticipated. The reason we're getting so close to reaching space on our speaker rocket is because all of our crowdfunding supporters. If you enjoy watching these insider videos on building a space program and you would like to become an even bigger part of it, you can help us out by going over to our website www.copsum.com and becoming a supporter with a small monthly or one-time donation. We all do this for free in our spare time, so you'd be surprised how much every little bit helps. And thank you if you feel like what we do and share is interesting. 